Brian Treveria is tonight hospitalized in a critical condition and in need of several pints of O positive blood. Following a shooting incident on Monday night in Bamupan, the 44-year-old was at his mechanic shop on Sinsontish Avenue in the capital, socializing with Anthony Williams and others. When they got into an argument, Williams left but returned with a firearm and opened fire on Chavaria. Even as he was gravely injured, Chavaria managed to get to the neighbor's yard but collapsed on the walkway. It happened around 9.15 p.m. when Elvira Kelly went inside her house. I went into the bathroom, and while I was in the bathroom, I heard shots. And when I heard the shots, um, I heard the door hit, knock, and, and then Miss um, Gwendaughter, the name, uh, her name is Tyrone, and she hit, knocked the door and said, Miss Kelly, some um, they shot Mr. Chavaria, could you call the... 911 and so I called 911 and I and I came out and I saw the sh Mr. Javaria right down there in my yard he was crouched like this and he was only groaning and um, at that time someone came to help him and I said leave him because the police is coming right now and, and the police came right away and took him and took him to the hospital. Chavaria was rushed to the Western Regional Hospital where he's being treated. Kelly says she heard at least three shots. I only heard one shot, then another two. Uh, that's three and all, but was one then was paused, and then another three. No. <laughs> you know why? I understand that he was socializing with some people before this happened. Yes, but he wanted them to leave his yard. Police are looking for Williams, who it is said is from George Street in Belize City. Residents say that the mechanic shop was known to be a hotspot where marijuana was being sold. Chavaria reportedly got into a confrontation when he wanted the illegal activity to discontinue, and that triggered the gun violence. He don't want them to be um, selling the drug no more. That's what I heard he was talking to them about when the person, they said he went and came back and shot him. He went to his house after the argument, or he came back and then that's, <clears throat> that's when he shot him. We need more surveillance for the policemen, and we need, because they were selling the drug and selling it to the young, you know, and it's, it's not good for the young, so we need, um, cooperation with um, the, the whole public and, and parents, whatever, that they could speak to them about. Because I think the parents don't know that the 15 year olds are buying drugs that came to buy it here. But since, since he told them that, um, yeah, I see that they haven't come, but they had an argument about that, I heard. And, and this is this cause it's a uh -huh. Elvira Kelly says that it is the first time violence like this has happened in her area. I um I don't feel because I was sitting down here and I said maybe if they would have uh, because they could have shot me because of looking and seeing oh, yeah. and to quiet me too I could have gotten a shot because I was sitting down right here. Mm -hmm. But I got up before and I went into the, the in my house. <clears throat> when I came out back, it's because there he was when after I called the police and I I saw him down there in my yard. Dwayne Moody for News Five.